Boom. What up, YouTube? LTH back at you with a third video. 713 to buy your city. We up in here. So, now that the Falcons game is passed, it's time to focus on the New Orleans Saints. It's coming to town next week. As the Texans look to bounce back at home by trying to win their second consecutive home game this upcoming Sunday. And, and I know I said this in my previous in my video, that Re Fal Re Falcons recap video, but hey, Falcons play play better with a play better overall compared to Houston. So things that the Texans didn't do this past Sunday needs to happen this Sunday. Why? Because one, defense can't afford to be on the field. Two, I mean, got to figure out how to get off the field with a, with a stop, you know. Got to stop them a third and five or, or, or a little third and long you know can't get an offense short fields and uh whatnot and the offense they got to play a lot better too you know giving the defense a better chance to make things happen because just said if they be on the field for too long they're gonna get gassed as hell once again if they can't find a way to get off the field and yeah they got to find a way to get to Derek Carr too you know apply pressure and i mean will i mean I love Will Anderson. I know he's doing his thing, but need to see some sacks from him, Grenard, D line. I mean, I mean the pass rush got to be on point, and stopping the run too, because another talented running back in Alvin Kamara that the Texans defense will face. Yep, because he's known Kamara can and will make defenders miss. And one thing I noticed about the Texans, they tend to hesitate from time to time. Can't be doing that and expect the expect the force three and outs and stuff, because then you're asking to give up big plays. So you gotta stop Alvin Kamara for sure. And the Saints are a talented team. I mean, they got you know, Alvin, like I said, Alvin Kamara, Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, and Jimmy Graham. You know. I mean, I got a feeling he, I mean, if he's still on the team, I got a feeling he still got it if they release him. And on the defense, the Marshawn Lattimore is a baller. And Cam Jordan, Cam Jordan, and some and, and some good supporting casts they got on that defensive team, defensive supporting cast. But Texans, they got to gotta stop Ava Kamara. For sure. Because can't let Alvin Kamara go off. And you can't leave Derek Carr time to throw the football. You know, you got to swarm in and make him uncomfortable in that pocket. In that pocket. To where he can't. To where he's uncomfortable. Because <laughs> anytime you leave any, leave any quarterback, oh, it's going to make you pay the price. Can't rely on a secondary because you can't rely on a pass defense to do everything. I Meaning the run defense got to step up. I mean, they did a good job last game, but they got to do even better. I mean, I know Alvin Kamara is not easy to stop, but hey, if you can stop him enough, you got a chance. Now, as far as the offense, got to do a better job of sustaining drives with touchdowns because, you know, being held to four field goals wasn't going to cut it. And one, because they, I got, Last game, they didn't score a tight TD until late in the game. You no, know? but then the defense, of course, failed to do their job, in which I've seen this before. Example, example. Week 16, 2018 versus the Eagles. You know, with a chance to end their season, but the defense failed to make a stop, in which led to them losing the game. 2019 in New Orleans. Defense failed to make a stop. They lose the game. So, anytime the game is on the line, defense got to make clutch stops when it matters. When it matters the most. 
So, you know, the Texans offense faced another tough test against the Saints, talented Saints defense. And I got to say, the running game has been disappointing so far. Disappointed, you know. Had high hopes for Pierce coming in. But so far, just hasn't been productive. So, the Texans running game got to turn up for show sure because can't depend on C.J. Stroud all the time in the pass offense because the Saints are going to do everything they can to take away the run game and put the ball in the hands of Stroud. I mean, I know Stroud is yet to throw a pick, but hey, Stroud got to be Stroud, you know, Hopefully Tank Dell plays this game because they really need him. But if not, but hey, you, you know, utilize the tight ends to take the load off Nico Collins. You know, feed John Mechie, even Hutchinson the Rock. John Mechie, yeah, even Brevin Jordan and Dalton Schultz, feed them the Rock. You know, spread in the field and the play calling got to be a lot better because I got to say I noticed we were out coached you know outsmarted and all that even despite losing by only by two points but I feel like the Texans were outsmarted and out coached and everything so Texans got to come out with better play offensive and defensive plays you know score more touchdowns than field goals you know and Got him once again for his turnovers. Because, you know, win the time of possession, which is important. Because if the Saints win the time of possession to keep Stroud off the field for long enough, hmm, time for the defense to start getting gassed. So, offense got to play a lot better. Score a lot more points than 19. Because... They can do that. They got a shot, you know. And another thing that's got to stop the uh, defensive pre-snap penalties as well, because on the defense they have four offsides along with encroachment penalties. Can't be doing that, because then you're giving the you giving opposing offenses better chances to to get first downs and stuff like that, you know. Can't be doing that. So play smarter and handle business. I mean, yeah. I can see this game. The NFC South Gauntlet continues. And yeah, open up the playbook. And and of course, force quick three and outs. And run the ball, run the ball just to make the Saints defense tired. And neutralize Cam Jordan because that dude is a game wrecker. You know, the offensive line got to be on a assignment for sure. You know, neutralize the pass Cam Jordan in that pass rush. Hey, put as much pressure on that Saints secondary as possible. And yeah, I know they have Tyron Matthew back there too in that Saints secondary. You know, who will be making his return to Houston. I mean, because I know that dude's going to be playing with a big chip on his shoulder. So, ah, uh, that's all I wanted. To, that's about all I got. You know, shout out to the Saints fan base. And shout out to the Saints fans from Houston that lives in Houston. Because there are Saints fans in Houston for sure. So, big shout out to them. But also, shout out to the Texans fans and the content creators for show so yeah let's go texans let's bounce back and get this w let's go 713 i'm out